Hello everybody, sorry for the short video uh, of the last one. Uh, my roommate had came home and brought me food, so I am now stuffed and happy and we can get right back to kicking ass. This can't go this way, so forward along here it is. Kick me all you want, I still got you, bastard. So there's the exit to the Hand of the King. What a good play. As you notice, he's a little awkward for me to deal with because he pulls you toward him. But, doesn't mean I can't handle him. So, we're gonna go back up. Here. I believe at this point I found the majority of it. to attack even if you hit them, unlike most enemies who can to get interrupted. I don't think you can stun them, and if you can, I, I've never done it myself. Instinct, so that would have led to two chests, uh, items, nothing, nothing too uh, important worth going out of the way for. Not that we can right now, anyhow. Shame that main. We finished the blue door. Yes. Okay. So we'll go through green door and finish up on the red because I believe red is closer to the exit door, anyhow. too many enemies. I am still spiteful against them nonetheless. Everybody gets hit with the prize. Or the axe. The weapons of justice do not discriminate. Oh, good thing I have this. <laughs> Cool, that was easy. I wasn't expecting to get away with that one. Look at us, blurry, freezing through here. Almost flawlessly. This 
because I'm extra like it, like this, I'm gonna go through this version, this door first, this red door first, so we come up the other side. How many of these? One, two, three. 2 is because we want to get the uh, upgrade for our damage. <laughs> Excuse me. We can't get this yet because I don't have the runes available for it, but I might be able to get it on the next playthrough if we beat Hand of the King. Which hopefully we do because it would be a shame to get all the way back here and not be able to beat him. I will be doing this all in one clip to make up for the shorter clip of last time, and I forgot to hit the door again. Alright, um... We could do gold reserves, that'd be nice. I'll probably die a lot more in the future, it'd be nice to have some extra cash laying around. Now, speaking of extra cash... much better. Because now I'm shooting two arrows at once. And I believe both those can hit the hand of the king. So we're gonna open this fight off with a grenade and then spam our holy frying pan. The king's throne was sculpted right out of the rock where it sits. Many months of work went into its exquisite detail. And we got a tree with eyeballs in the background. That's weird. Alright. Let's do this. Look at you. Your big ass dual great sword. We got this, we got this, we're doing really good. Don't know why I let that hit me. Come on. Yeah! Alright, hand of the king annihilated, guys. Shabby, not too shabby. We're gonna pick up the. I believe it's a boss cell, is what this is called. Stem cell. Modifies the difficulty of the level and unlocks new options. So we're gonna pick up the Telerik Shock. We need to grab this. Because. We. Are gonna do the rightful thing. I guess. Not too sure about why.
so. I don't know why at the very end there I get Bloodborne vibes with that scene where the king's floating in the air and his eyes glow. Um, I don't want to skip the credits. Um, because like I, these guys, they all did such a great job on this game. And on, I love this game. It's, it's one of my favorite games. And like top, top three of my side scrollers that I've played. Um, so, you know, thank you everybody listed. And, um, we're not done yet. As you saw, we got the stem cell that can boost the difficulty. However, uh, I myself am not quite ready for going into, I guess new game plus would be the, uh, option for it. Instead, I'm going to keep it on the same difficulty and try to get some more runes to uh, make progression um, easier. I believe next we got to go through, so you got to go through like normal to the promenade of the condemned, I think the map was, and we can use the teleportation monolith there. And, uh, that will take us to a new area where we can get a new room, if I believe. Uh, so many amazing people working on this. If you guys like my playthrough of these side scrolls, I do have others. Uh, I can get access to, uh, including Sultan Sanctuary, which is a very interesting side scroll. It's very Dark Souls esque. Um, I would not mind buying Hollow Knight on PlayStation. That's another fantastic side scroll game that I've yet to beat that one. And Sultan Sanctuary, I haven't beaten that one either, but I've gotten pretty far in both. Um, if you have any others that you know you think are well worth playing I will see about uh, getting them and playing them for your guys's viewing pleasure I do love side scrolls and uh, just feel like not enough have come out recently everybody wants to get in on the battle royale genre right now or these big MMOs or shooters and uh, just not not a whole lot going back to our original roots of gaming of course if we want to go back to there I could always do a 100 episode long Pong series for you guys because that sounds amazing. <laughs> non stop beeping. We could probably do commentary for that about life and things going on in the world while playing Pong. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't subject you to that. could speed up these credits like I said I don't I don't want to skip them that would be so rude to the people who worked on this game so I will be ending the video after the next scene after the credits so if you want to skip till then uh, please feel free to but uh, I'm sure the creators and everybody and the producers and everyone would be very happy if you, um, I, I, I don't know, like, just looking at the credits is one thing, but, like, giving praise to them, checking out their other work, that's, that's another thing, you know. sure of how big the overall team is though as a lot of I've seen a lot of these names repeated uh, namely I've seen Julia Miller a few times in here and uh, Douglas a couple times uh, but I believe they got a few with different names it was Douglas Hills I believe was another one so I, I have no idea how large the team is Oh, and uh, today I have just—I I just 
uh, decided a little bit earlier. I don't think I'll be doing some Titanfall videos today, sadly. Uh, I do want to put out a few more Dead Cells videos today, but uh, I have been I've been wanting to uh, game more with uh, some friends of mine, and I haven't been able to do that as later in the day as I was getting a bit too distracted. So I figured that the sooner I get my Dead Cells videos done, the sooner I could uh, play some games with them. So I don't mind putting time fall on hold for a day. Uh, that said, I don't want to rush Dead Cells because I, I love this game and I don't want you guys to get any worse quality commentary than me. God, this music is so nice. I want to know, somebody knows who it is, I want to know which one of these people's ideas it was to add the boar pen into the game as a weapon because you deserve your own special section for that amazingly fun weapon. And it, it's it's got a simple gimmick, crits from the front, but there's something satisfying about clonking an enemy in the face with a frying pan. I think other people could agree to that. Stay faithful to what I said, I'm not skipping these credits. So many people. At least I get a good soundtrack going on right now. Best Employee of the Month, David Crow, congratulations to that. a weird thing that I picked out out of there that I saw though, but I was like, hey, he got Employee of the Month, congratulations. <laughs> ah, the music directors, you guys did a fantastic job of getting all this music set up. Everybody who worked on the music, great job. That's a selling point for games, for me. Uh, you could have the best game mechanics or the best story, but uh, what, what really ties everything together is a soundtrack to go with it, and I feel the soundtrack for Dead Cells is what's really well done, in my opinion. Vacation Scouts, huh? Best Employee of the Month, Stephen Hills, David Curie, Donovan, Stephen Hawk. 
Oh, sorry, David Fay. I'm sorry. John Byrne King, Brenda Reeves, Jonathan Fay, Brenda Stephen Lynn, Brad Hills, Linda Matinger. Butchering names left and right. So sorry. this uh records the um music audio um i haven't paid much attention to it on my other videos checking back to see if it was fine quality as far as my voice goes but uh if it doesn't i'm i'm sorry you all get to miss out on that uh i do suggest that you play this game for yourself and and enjoy the the masterpiece that I believe it is because I, I think it's so well done. You will hear me praise this game a lot. Um, it's there's a reason why I chose this game to be my first uh, recording series, and I mean, yeah, <laughs> not not just saying it to say it, you know, to make everybody look good. I truly feel this way. I, I chose this game to be first because of how much I loved it. Got Burn Hoff and Burn King. A lot of Burns. A bunch of different crows. And the uh, names. that I see marketing up here. scene right after these credits that they have <clears throat> I feel like they should have waited to put these until that scene it's because 
Best Employee of the Month, Ben Stephen King Jr. No, if any of you are watching this right now, you're probably like, skip it already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no. <laughs> now, I don't believe they're gonna have us sit through the credits again, though, if we beat the game again. Um, but I, I will not uh, have it play. I, I don't want to turn the cutscenes off quite yet because I don't know if there's any that I might have missed between here now and uh, later so I believe there's actually going to be one coming up here real soon Thank you everybody who's worked on this game for creating such a wonderful game and thank you everybody who is watching this currently and getting to enjoy the experience of this game with me. Like I said, small little scene after, but those credits did take up a little bit of time. Come on. As you can see here, I'm this, whatever this is. But uh, I'm going to cut the video here because that last uh, bit was a fa fairly long. And we're going to pick up again uh, from here. Thank you all for watching my videos. If you, like I said, have any suggestions for different games you'd like me to play, please let me know. And I will look into doing playlists for those games for you. Uh, thank you all and have a wonderful day.